students in today's session we will discuss fundamentals of structural analysis in previous session we already discussed degree of static indeterminacy of beams and plane frame now in this session we will discuss degree of static indeterminacy of trusses and grains and we will solve numerical to calculate ds of trusses and grains so let's start with trusses and here is the definition of truss so the truss is a structure composed of links or bars assumed to be connected by frictionless pins at joints the links or bars are arranged in such a way that the enclosed area is usually triangle in shape all members of truss are subjected to axial force only remember one thing all member of the truss are subjected to axial force only now here is the equation to calculate degree of static indeterminacy ds of truss so we know that total degree of static indeterminacy ds is the summation of external static indeterminacy ds e and internal static indeterminacy ds i so here in case of truss we will calculate ds by using equation ds is equal to ds e plus ds i and equation of ds e for the trusses is equal to capital r minus small r where capital r is number of reactions and small r is number of equation of static equilibrium now equation of internal static indeterminacy ds i for the trusses is equal to m plus r minus 2j here m is number of members r is number of equation of static equilibrium and j is number of joints so by using this three equations we will calculate degree of static indeterminacy of trusses so let's calculate numerical here is the in this given figure this is the truss and truss has two supports one hinge support and one rotor support and for calculation of degree of static indeterminacy first of all we need to calculate number of reactions so here we know that each hinge support always offer two reactions and each roller support will offer one reaction so total number of reactions will be 2 plus 1 which is 3 and value of r which is number of equation of static equilibrium is equal to 3 now let's calculate number of members of this truss so for calculation of members we always start with the left hand and we will move in a clockwise direction so here is the first member of the truss so this is first member second 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so total number of members of this truss will be 9 so value of m is equal to 9 now let's calculate value of j j is number of joints so for calculating joints again we start with left hand and we will move in a clockwise direction so here is the joint number 1 so this is joint 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total number of joints of this given truss is equal to 6 now let's calculate dse which is external static indeterminacy is equal to capital r minus small r and value of capital r is 3 and value of small r is 3 so we get value of dse is equal to 0 so we can say that the given truss is stable and externally determinate now let's calculate dsi dsi is 
m plus r minus 2j. Value of m is 9, value of r is 3 and value of j is 6. So, we will get value of dsi is equal to 0. So, we can say that the given truss is stable and determinate. Now, if we put value of dSE and dSI in equation of dS, then we will get value of dS is equal to 0. So, we can say that the given truss is stable and determinate. Now, let's calculate another sum for calculating dS of trusses. So, here in this given figure, this is truss having two hinge support. So, first of all, we need to calculate value of R. We know that each hinge support offers two reactions. So, total number of reactions of this given truss will be 2 plus 2, 4. Value of R will be 3. Now, let's calculate number of members. So, we will start with left. Here is the member 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So, total number of members of this given truss will be 11. And similarly, if we calculate number of joints, then we will get answer 6. Let's calculate joint. So, we will start with left end. So, this is joint number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, value of J will be 6. If we put value of capital R and small r in equation of DSE, then we will get value of DSE is equal to 1. So, we can say that the given truss is stable and indeterminate to first degree externally. Now, if we put value of M is equal to 11 and value of J is equal to 6 in equation of DSI, then we will get value of DSI is equal to 2. So, we can say that the given truss is stable and indeterminate to second degree internally. Now, let's calculate DS. So, equation of DS is equal to DSE plus DSI. And value of DSE is 1 and DSI is 2. So, we get value of DS is equal to 3. So, we can say that the given truss is stable and indeterminate to third degree. So, here we calculated ds for the trusses. Now, let's calculate ds, degree of static indeterminacy for the grids. So, first of all, let's discuss definition of grid. So, grid is a plane structure composed of continuous members. And members either intersect or cross each other. Now, here is the equation to calculate degree of static indeterminacy of grid. So, ds for the grid is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j. Where m is number of members, capital R is number of reactions and j is number of joints. Now, let's calculate one numerical. So, here in this given figure, the grid having four hinge support and two fixed support. And for calculation of DS, first of all, we need to calculate reactions. So, we know that each hinge support offers two reactions. So, total number of reactions of four hinges will be 2 into 4. And number of reactions offered by each fixed support is equal to 3. So, number of reactions offered by two fixed support will be 3 into 2. So, total number of reactions of this grid will be 14. Now, let's calculate number of members. So, we will start with here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, total number of members will be 7. So, we will take value of M is equal to 7. Now, let's calculate value of J, which are joints. So, this is joint number 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट टोटल नंबर ऑफ जॉइंट ऑफ दिस ग्रीड इज इक्वल टू एट नाउ लेट्स पुट वैल्यू ऑफ एम कैपिटल आर एंड जे इन इक्वेशन ऑफ डी एस टू कैलकुलेट डिग्री ऑफ स्टेटिक इन डिटर्मिनेंसी ऑफ दिस ग्रीड स्ट्रक्चर सो इक्वेशन ऑफ डी एस इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम प्लस आर माइनस थ्री जे एंड वैल्यू ऑफ एम इज इक्वल टू सेवन वैल्यू ऑफ कैपिटल आर इज फोर्टीन एंड वैल्यू ऑफ जे इज इक्वल टू एट एंड इफ वी पुट दिस वैल्यू इन इक्वेशन ऑफ डी एस देन वी विल गेट डी एस इज इक्वल टू इलेवन सो वी कैन से दैट द गिवन ग्रेड इज इन डिटर्मिनेट टू इलेवें डिग्री सो हेयर इज द एंड ऑफ द सेशन इन नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल डिस्कस डिग्री ऑफ काइनेमेटिक इन डिटर्मिनेंसी थैंक यू